What's popping, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Right, so today we're gonna to be talking about something. Right, so as some of you guys may or may not know, I'm currently on my summer break now, and like, which is also known as the holidays. Right, so I have been at it for about two months now. Life is good. So like, I'm in university now, and things are definitely different compared to last time when I was in high school um, talking about the holiday period time lah, right so looking back I realized that I have been through my fair share of holiday periods and safe to say that I am experienced holiday spender which brings us to today's video as to how not to spend your holidays there's a time in the holidays where you start to feel like shit, you know because you unknowingly became a couch potato potato the mindless cycle of getting up maybe having some breakfast then going to the tv to watch whatever astro or netflix in 2021 has to offer and before you know it it's time for dinner one night you lay in bed and realize that you're actually a piece of that will amount to nothing as you watch our boys to men for the 12th time that's when your inner fighter kicks in and says ENOUGH is ENOUGH You start formulating your plan to find out what the next year's syllabus is and we'll go through each topic to see Oi 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 hello wake up Not done Listen To see which ones are the hardest ones and start revising to be ahead of the game Okay, lights out So you get up in the morning all refreshed All refreshed, all refreshed and sit down in front of your computer Beginning your research and you eventually come up with your list, you know Then you start to go through the list one by one And by the time you're done, school has restarted and you're ready to conquer the class And as a matter of fact, you do You know, whatever the teachers ask, you'll be there to answer After class, your friends come to see you, you know, they want some help And you gladly help, you know, life is good Until Hey, by the way, bro, do you watch Attack of Titan season 4? Oh, hey, wait, I actually shit. haven't watched. And before you know it, it's too late. You've got spoiled. You go into a downward spiral. And well, all you can do is cry. So having spent enough time on the internet, you probably would have come across motivational videos that tell you to Then what happened E? How do you have a multi-million dollar company when you come from nothing? One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. But are you a different animal and the same beast? And you suddenly get a sense of going on planet Earth. You know, and you start to find things outside your field of study because like, I guess that's what passion is, the side hustle, you know? So, let's say you realize that YouTube is your passion because like, you really rather do that than engineering. Alright, so maybe you make video after video and it's been 6 months and you still suck. So, what do you do? You just give up? Maybe? But then you watch those motivational videos again. JUST DO IT! and then you get back on your feet. Alright, so it's been two years, you have a million subscribers, income is rolling in fast, and you dropped out of school to pursue your passion. Alright, so you only post pictures of your Nissan and Amera to stay humble, but in reality, you have a Lamborghini, which you use to flex on people in real life. You know, life is good. Except for the fact you've been doing this for two years and you start to feel pretty bored. You don't feel the so-called passion you had before, right? You're bored. So gradually, your ideas just start getting worse. Your fans find you fake. Everything falls apart. You can't even look yourself in the mirror without taking off your sunglasses. Suddenly, you have no money. Never mind, now you have no degree. And well, all you can do is cry. So just imagine this scenario where your friends are talking and then you guys are having a casual conversation and like someone brings up investing and then like you just talk about it too because you know you want to be in the conversation, don't want to be left out. I mean that's what I do lah. 
So um, you just talk about it and then at first you don't really believe it because you don't know how to do it but then like here and there you just put in some money and suddenly you know beginner's luck you make some profit it's good money you know you're making money with money sounds good right so you know you start making bigger risks watching investing gurus and getting yourself an idol to pray to so yeah you know it's been a good two years you look at your bank account your net worth goes beyond genie boys you know life is good until you see dogecoin dropping like crazy all right and like eminem said if you had one shot to seize everything you wanted would you capture it or let it slip so by far the biggest balls move you've made in your life you put all in dogecoin waiting for it to rise once more with anxiety you sit with your only friend since no one else can be in your league no more and you watch and that's when a notification pops up Elon Musk laughs at cat meme instead of doge meme and all you do is watch as dogecoin plummets to zero and well and let me guess all you can do is huh? cry the who are you? I'm you dumbass look at the mirror sometime why are you doing here? I'm here to tell you how pathetic you are huh? all these things you said that we shouldn't do huh? is the things that we should be doing during the holidays huh? just because you can't succeed you don't want other nah, people to nah, succeed nah, is it, huh? I'm just spitting facts oh really? fine huh? all these things that we shouldn't do what should we do then? yeah I need to switch this off